What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So, brothers, I really want to have this conversation about Meg the Stallion. And Meg the Stallion really took a lot of shots at the brother Partisan Fontaine. And again, I'm not here to say that the brother is perfect. And a lot of us as a black men, we definitely make mistakes, especially um, dealing with women. You know, we don't do the right thing. Um, you know, we do things that are not right. And, and we can understand that. And that is completely OK. As long as we're going to live, we're going to just continue to make mistakes. All right. And that's fine. But you know what? I, wa I want to talk about this. The fact that is when ladies make mistakes. They never want to admit it. And then they want to come out here and trash these men and put out the business to the public. You've seen Tia Maori do that. We've seen Summer Walker do that, you know, and now we have seen this particular situation happen with Meg Thee Stallion and Partisan Fontaine. She came out, said she caught the guy cheating. She walked in on him getting his, you know, what sucked and all of this and all of that. And, you know, it's just really crazy, right? So the guy had to, the guy had to basically respond and clap back at her in his own song. And when she talked about all the thought ended up that she was doing, but let me just say this, right? Basically, you know, he did admit it was some things wrong that he did in the relationship. All right. Let me play what he had to say, taking accountability of what happened recently. And then I'm going to come back. It never, it's never something I want to speak on, never something I want to elaborate on. You've never once seen me speak on my personal life, whether I be happy, sad, and different, you know what I'm saying? Just a little tidbit, so this is, these are always uncomfortable for me. <clears throat> um, anyway. Like I said, I go out here to promote my music. Y'all never heard me speak ill um, about anybody to this point in time. I never intended to, I never did so. But if you watch my interviews in their entirety, I always speak about exactly what happens, exactly how I feel, without even giving too much, because I don't like to dive into too much. But I have no problem taking accountability. I, yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Let's, let's talk about what the definition is. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, find me an interview where I say no. Not once, but I just don't appreciate people throwing rocks and hiding their hand. I was chilling, I was cooling. Nobody asked me nothing. Nobody asked nobody nothing. In fact, and and throwing rocks and hiding your hand is just that's not good behavior. You know what I'm saying? It's not good, especially the people that have been good to you. Um, everything I needed to talk about, I talked about on the song. Everything I need to say, I said it on the song. People want to know why. They want to know what happened. And when you paint things in ways that they didn't happen, you got to clear it up. You got you to clear it up. Um, but with all that said, with all that being said, I wish happiness for everybody. I wish healing for everybody. I felt like I was well along my journey. I felt like I was well along in my journey. I had put a lot behind me. I had, uh, I had eight. A lot of shit as, as a male, as a man, like, you know what I'm saying? I just ate it. You know what I'm saying? I felt like this was like not one of those times I was going to let it slide. Let somebody speak on me and let my let my story be told by somebody else. This wasn't one of those times I was going to let it slide. Like they never, it's never something I want to speak on. Now, let me come and play what she had to say. And then I'm going to come back. It's bothering people so bad. Like... I don't know what that means. And I, and I, I don't want to keep this long because I know people are going to chop this up the way they want to chop it up and twist my words and make me something else. But I just feel like I'm Megan Thee Stallion and I just want to be Megan Thee Stallion. I just want to drop my music. I just want to talk to the hotties. I just want to shake my ass. I want to have as much fun with this shit as I used to. But it seems like every time I take a step forward to heal and do something different, be like no come back 
Get your ass back to this negativity. Come back this way. You, you're not supposed to be smiling right now. You're not supposed to still be getting deals. You're not supposed to be in movies. You're not supposed to be recording albums. You're supposed to be sad where you was with me two, three years ago. When I got in a relationship, all that shit was deleted. I was sat the f on. I was sat, I was seated. I was very much happy where I was at. If if this if this man is saying, I didn't cheat on her, I didn't do that. Well, why the f you responding to me? Do you know how many I claim I done Why are you answering? Why are you trying to make that shoe fit? Was it you getting your dick in the same spot I was sleeping? If you say it wasn't true, why the hell is you dissing me? Like, what the going on why are you talking to me i wasn't if you said i wasn't talking to you i wasn't talking to you like you just wanted to find a reason to bash me it's, it seems very strategic like it feels like so guys you've heard what happened on both ends let me just say this firstly i like what he had to say taking accountability for what's happening and of course you know that stuff she was talking about she's trying to heal she's trying to do this she's trying to do that I mean, basically, they're always talking about healing or doing something that don't make any sense, right? We, we, we understand that certain ladies is unaccountable, always talking about healing. Everything is healing. But at the same time, what about what you was doing? The man said that, look, you know, he was texting girls on the phone and he was doing whatever he was doing. He, 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 he admitted that, but he, it was never his intention to come out to the public, especially when that man was good to you that man wasn't perfect we know that but to come out there and then put your grievances out there like your stuff don't stink like you wasn't doing nothing like he wasn't putting up with you you know what i mean and just come out there and turn on the man and again he was like look i wasn't even going to say anything about it but you know i just get tired of being a bully and i'm gonna tell you like this is what's happened to a lot of black men in the media a lot of black men get with some of these ladies out here we're not saying that these brothers are perfect and then anytime something happens you know you see these sisters coming out there to the media um basically castigating them taking shots continuous shots at black men in the media for no 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 real reason you know what i mean you've ended it on good terms now here you are being immature and petty the man ain't saying nothing about you the man ain't talking about you in any level way then when he come out and he say something that he got on you now all of a sudden you know he, he's wrong he's mad that, that's petty like that's not ladylike again you know what i mean like if y'all ended it pu pu privately the man's not dissing you he's not sending about you why do you feel the need that you need to come out there and diss a person especially when the guy found out because he's saying listen you lied to him about certain things you was messing with dudes you was sleeping with dudes you was doing all of that and the brother never said nothing the brother never said nothing but look at you out there dusting it up look at you out there lying look at you out there not telling the truth you know look at you that's you doing all that all right now the brother's gonna stand up for himself which is sad that a lot of black men got to come out there and you know it, it it don't even be your intention to be disrespecting uh somebody your ex you know a lot of brothers is mature too you know not every black man is out here cursing a woman out and saying this and that about her no but when you're not giving no level of respect to somebody and you know, like i said they gotta feel like they gotta defend themselves because you was lying too and again he owned up to him what he did where is your level of accountability and again everything listen to megan stallion it's always somebody else's fault it's always somebody against her her friends against her her family against her she don't never do nothing wrong and that is why meg the stallion don't be grown as an artist nobody she'll never get because nothing is ever her fault it's always the label fault it's partisans fontaine fault it's her best friend's fault she don't never do anything meg the stallion damn near like jesus christ you know she don't do nothing wrong <laughs> she don't do nothing wrong she ain't seen nothing wrong she ain't ain't did a goddamn thing wrong the only person that's wrong is everybody else have y'all noticed that and i'm telling you so many men get in relationships with women like this and and, and no matter what you do to be with her and she ain't gonna never have no accountability and that's why so many ladies end up like that end up getting dumped because it's like man shoot you know bro I ain't no way i can be dealing with her she's not accountable 
You know what I mean? She's just gonna keep going back and forth, and you know who got time for all that? You know what? 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 What man got time to be dealing with somebody who basically don't feel like they got a goddamn problem when they do have a problem? They got a problem too. You know the the, the man came out there and said he was doing what he was doing. Now what about his allegations? Or is he just making that up? He just lying. He just lying on you. So guys, what do you think it's your boy Shay Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.